Why do the majority of traffic violators attempt to flee when pursued by the police? Is there a chance they can escape the specialized police vehicles? Exciting scenarios will be revealed in detail in today's video. The police are tracking a black vehicle with a fake license plate moving on the Interstate 430. Upon confirming the vehicle, the police activate their sirens, but the car accelerates at high speed and crashes into the exit of Baptist Hospital. The vehicle makes a left turn and continues to flee. The police intervene from behind, causing it to veer off the road and collide with a utility pole. The driver then abandons the vehicle. An officer pursues the suspect on foot and successfully apprehends them in the hospital parking lot. According to another report, during the pursuit, the police deployed a taser to subdue the suspect, resulting in a successful arrest without further incidents. Dude, so the, the wheel, like I'm chasing him on foot. And A white car, which was reported stolen, is being pursued by the police. The chase quickly becomes intense as the suspect speeds up to 100 mile per hour while maneuvering through traffic with other vehicles on the road. The suspect swerves dangerously on the road, narrowly avoiding a collision with a moving pickup truck. They change lanes illegally and overtake in no passing zones in an attempt to escape police visibility. The vehicle starts to lose control on a curved section of the road, but then regains composure and continues at a slower pace. The police decide to execute a pit maneuver, causing the car to spin and collide with a tree. You, driver, on the ground! Driver, you, on the ground! Everybody, on the ground now, out here, now! Up here, now! Up here on the road, now! Several young suspects emerge from the car, approximately 10 individuals aged between 15 and 25 sitting on the road. The number of individuals is quite surprising, leading many to question how they could travel at such high speeds with a significant number of people. In such a particular situation, what do you think the appropriate legal actions or consequences should be for them? The police officers are being dispatched to a shooting incident in the northern part of Hubbard Street and East Clark Street. While en route, they notice a vehicle resembling the suspect's car. A pursuit ensues shortly afterward. The vehicle moves northbound on Interstate 43 at a high speed, then turns left onto Northport Washington Road. The vehicle behaves unusually, and the police observe that one tire is completely damaged. Despite this, the suspect still attempts to flee, 
thinking there might be a chance to escape in such a dire situation. The suspect's vehicle, after a period of evading, experiences significant mechanical failure. The vehicle comes to a stop on the side of the road with no other vehicles in motion. The suspect is then apprehended, including a female driver and a passenger. The pursuit concludes without any injuries. Turn in a circle till I tell you to stop! Turn in a circle till I tell you to stop! A vehicle was detected exceeding the speed limit by the police through the onboard radar. The police initiated a pursuit and the driver appeared to comply with the order by pulling over to the side of the road and slowing down almost to a complete stop. However, when the police sounded their sirens, the offender accelerated and fled, leading to an unwanted chase. The patrolling police informed the military contact center C about the ongoing pursuit of a speeding vehicle. After covering approximately one mile, the vehicle came to a stop on the side of the road. Shut the car off! Turn the car off! Turn the car off! Step out with your hands up! Step out with your hands up! The police ordered the occupants, including a proactive female passenger, to exit the vehicle. However, she resisted verbally, claiming not to be the driver of the car. Turn around. Turn around. I'm in the back seat. You come out, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I'm in the back seat. Don't care. Turn around. Face that way and walk backwards to me. Face that way and walk backwards to me. Face that way. Face that way and walk backwards to me. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking backwards. The police quickly restrained the female passenger, instructing her to sit on the ground. Sit down. Sit on the ground? Sit. Sit. Oh, oh my God. Driver, step out with your hands up. Step out. Step out. Step out. What do you mean what's wrong? I'm stopping you guys and you take off. Who else is in the car? Who's in the car? My brother, my best friend, and one of the So three people? No, uh, they good though. Three people? They no. Three other people in the car? Roll down the back window. Roll down the back window. I don't have to go through the I don't have the right to search anything. Can you stop?
The driver then exited the vehicle and faced multiple orders from the police. Non-lethal force and tasers were used several times and the driver was commanded to step out. Subsequently, he was pulled out of the driver's seat by the police. It appears that all individuals were influenced by alcohol consumption prior to the events. The remaining two passengers were safely removed from the vehicle without incident. That shit hurts. They felt that before. That shit hurts. <laughs> One of the law enforcement agencies that I highly regard in their Kansas police force. Let's see what dramatic situations they bring us this time. During their routine patrol in Interstate 540, police noticed a black car exceeding the speed limit while the speed limit was 65 miles per hour. The radar detection revealed the car was traveling at 85 miles per hour. A pursuit ensured, and the police faced significant challenges due to heavy traffic. The vehicle was a Chevrolet, and as soon as it was approached, the patrol car quickly closed it. However, the driver persisted in trying to accelerate away, and despite intentional interventions created by the police, the driver recklessly evaded through multiple vehicles to escape. The rear of the car was eventually pulled onto and the side of the road. Despite repeated interventions and attempts, they were not successfully. Unfortunately, this intervention caused the patrol car to glide with the tree. Another patrol car continued in pursuit. And a successful pit maneuver was executed.
and the driver was instructed to exit the vehicle. But she disobeyed. The police then performed a false extraction. The driver sustained head injuries and received medical treatment. A passenger in the car was also reversed for involvement in previous warrants. I admire how these officers administered first aid to the driver. They bravely dealt with the offender, yet somewhere within these actions we can perceive warmth and their caring gestures towards the injured offender. What are your thoughts on this situation? Put your stomach on the ground! Put the stomach on the ground! While conducting patrol, the police noticed the car abruptly changing lanes despite signaling sensing something unusual. They proceeded to stop the vehicle. However, the driver swerved into the right lane and fled. The police immediately intervened and blocked the escape, and despite their efforts, the car attempted to advance and continued fleeing. With a key adjustment and professionalism, the officer swiftly intervened in time. Let me see your hands! Stay hands in the air! Hands in the air! Hands in the air! Stop right there! 467 Space away from me! Walk back! Well, keep your hands up. Walk over here. Face away from me. Face away from me. Lay, lay on the ground. Lay, lay on the ground. Put your hands up. And the driver was instructed to exit the vehicle. And the police demanded the girl to lie down on the ground. She was apprehended shortly afterwards. It seemed that she was not sober before driving. And although she claimed she did not resist, the police spent considerable time restraining her. She will be arrested and investigated later for latch violations. Around quarter to two, while patrolling on Interstate 85, the police spotted a Chevrolet abruptly changing lanes from lane two to lane three at high speeds. Activating the radar, the police recorded a speed of 99 miles an hour in the 70 mile per hour zone. The police instructed the driver to pull over. An initially mistaken for an elderly man with long hair, it turned out to be a woman. And despite providing identification and a driver's information, the data did not match. Despite a remote confirmation from the police, the offender continued to deny changing his story. After multiple checks, the information was confirmed to be false and backup was requested. And upon the supervisor's arrival, the offender suddenly slammed the brakes and fled. A dangerous pursuit ensued, with the offenders recklessly maneuvering through lates, endangering other vehicles.
and the spider attempting to stop her. As the police approach, they push the offender's car into the shoulder and successfully apprehended the driver. Due to the collision between the two vehicles, the offender's car unexpectedly caught fire. The offender was then transferred to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and the vehicle was retained for further investigation. A Nissan vehicle was spotted by the patrolling police on highway, traveling in the opposite direction of the police's lane. Despite the previous encounter, the driver persisted in attempting to flee and showed no intention of stopping. They even swerved into oncoming traffic lanes continuously. This dangerous situation posed a threat to other vehicles, and the police were attempting to close in before intervening from behind. The police successfully intervened with a pit maneuver. However, the red car collided with a white car, causing the red car to veal the road. and the girl was removed from the vehicle by the police but was in a state of distress and kept crying. What are your thoughts on this situation? Please share your opinions in the comments below. A vehicle with an expired registration was spotted moving along the street prompting the police to confirm the information through the license plate, and law enforcement swiftly identified the vehicle's location and initiated a pursuit. We're stopped at the light at stagecoach to turn east. Police sounded the sirens and demanded the vehicle to stop. However, it showed no intention of doing so, and upon making a right turn, the police car closed in on the vehicle. But the driver drove off in the opposite direction. A dispatch report was quickly made to the police headquarters, and the FBI was also present to assist in the pursuit.
Defending vehicle was intercepted by a police patrol car from behind and timely preventing it from fleeing onto the main road. An FBI white car blocked the front of the offending vehicle. The driver of the offending vehicle was immediately apprehended. Show me your hands! Don't you put your hands down, you hear me? 33 Little Rock, kid, I got FBI out with you. Wanna go, boy? Wrong with you, huh? Huh? Nothing's wrong with you? You seem pretty stupid to me. Why are you running? Huh? You get scared, so you run? Oh, that's a shitty excuse, I tell you that much. Have a seat. Oh, was he? Upon receiving information about a stolen vehicle in the vicinity, the police immediately sprang into action. Determined not to let the suspect escape, patrol units joined the pursuit swiftly. The vehicle moved at a high speed, swerving past the officer's car. A fellow officer followed closely behind. A pit maneuver was attempted in an intersection but was unsuccessful, and the patrol officer became the primary unit in the pursuit this time. The vehicle continued to evade at high speeds, weaving through the traffic lanes, overtaking numerous vehicles on the road, and upon closing into the suspect's left side, the police executed another pit maneuver, bringing the vehicle to a halt. Beside the road, a police reported that the passenger in the car was injured and was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. A discovery was made that the substance believed to be methamine was found on the suspect at the hospital, and both individuals are under arrest. Therefore, the advice to everyone in it never to engage in a race with the police because the outcome will not be favorable. While on patrol duty, the police noticed a black Honda speeding beyond the legal limit. The officer tracked the vehicle and attempted to pull it over. Despite police efforts to approach, the driver seemed suspicious and continued to flee at high speeds. Your brake went state police. It's the reason I'm stopping you're speeding, okay? I'm doing 88 and speed them at 65. 
and upon receiving the situation report, another patrol car swiftly joined the pursuit. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get back down. Turn north on uh, Highway 68. We're going to be on Highway 68, we're going to come back towards the west. 412, come back to 412. Come back westbound. Back westbound. Oh. The fleeing vehicle continued at speeds of 120 miles per hour, swerving erratically and posing a threat to other motorists on the road. A decision was made to intervene from behind. A collision almost caused the police vehicle to overturn as the driver of the fleeing car attempted to force the patrol car off the road. But fortunately, backup units continue to pursue. The vehicle ran through red lights and made sharp turns, and during the chase, the driver threw a small plastic bag out of the driver's seat and continued to evade a staggering 113 miles per hour. Uh, The pursuit lasted for hours, but the police did not give up. As the suspect attempted to turn and flee, the police officer executed a precision immobilizing technique, or PET, rendering the vehicle immobile. The pursuit resulted in the patrol car's windshield being shattered. The police demanded the driver to exit the vehicle, but he refused, and upon extraction, the driver attempted to escape custody. However, law enforcement gained control and detained him. Oh, 
I didn't even hit him, but y'all hit me. Y'all hit me. You said you're stupid enough to just can't even drive. Is there any way I can have a drink of water, please? There ain't no way, man. I don't have any water. <laughs> 293 And both the driver and the passengers were detained for further investigation. What charges do you think the driver and passengers will face this time? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. A highly impressive pursuit unfolded in the instance between a police car and a motorbike speeding recklessly. The rider seemed oblivious to the direction, continuously swerving lanes despite repeated orders to stop, the motorcyclers persisted dangerously. You might wonder why a pit maneuver wasn't executed on the motorbike. It is a challenging decision because prioritizing the safety of the rider is paramount and instantly performing a pit maneuver would expose them to significant risks. Though the police car maneuvered ahead to ensure warnings, the motorcyclists brazenly disregarded the danger and either overtaking and a no passing zone to reclaim the lead. Disregarding the traffic signals, the motorcycle pressed on and at this point, the police had to intervene decisively against the dangerous vehicle and the outcome was unfavorable for the rider. The motorcycle traveling at high speed began to lose control, careening into a traffic side before veering off the road. The police successfully apprehended the offender, who would appear to be in pain for consequences of his action. A white Audi car exceeded the speed limit while traveling within the range of 75 miles per hour. The vehicle constantly used its turn signals and fled at a speed of over 120 miles per hour. This raised suspicions about the driver's behavior among the police. Continuously switching on both turn signals and fleeing, the police monitored from behind and reported the incident to the police headquarters.
to prevent the suspect from escaping, the patrol car quickly closed in, but violating vehicle this persistently uses turn signals on both sides, as if it's challenging the patrol vehicle. In fact, the driver even knocked over some divider post on the road and squeezed past the truck to escape. Moving up to the wrong lane and nearly colliding with other vehicles in the opposite lane. The police promptly blocked the suspect at a small road near a residential area. and the suspect remained calm enough to still be able to use a phone, even with a police right in front of the vehicle. The police immediately arrested the driver without any injuries. The chief of a police officer is requesting assistance in pursuing a black pickup truck. The suspect vehicle has disregarded several traffic lights and is currently traveling on Highway 71. At the Young Ridge Road area, the police observe the suspects heading north at a high speed. Three police units are tailing the suspect as it moves into a four-lane road. When the units yield to the right, the police captain becomes the lead unit in the pursuit. As the police attempts to execute a precise pit maneuver, the suspect's vehicle continuously swerves to prevent the pit. On US Highway 71, when traffic clears up, the officer has made multiple attempts to approach but without success. The suspect's vehicle seems to continually dwell to these efforts by twitching lanes and sometimes braking sharply while reaching speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. The suspect daringly overtakes multiple vehicles while driving on the shoulder. It is now crucial to stop this vehicle and the police captain decides to perform another pit maneuver. The vehicle again switches to the opposite lane and then moves back into the inner lane, causing a major collision with the police car.
the moment both vehicles were able and hit the ground is perhaps an unforgettable moment for the police force. Some have said their hearts almost had stopped when they saw their colleague's car flying through the air and silently thanked God for saving him. Both vehicles overturned. The colleague's teams arrived promptly and extracted him from the vehicle. The suspect was also seriously injured, and the police officer sustained several injuries, but none life threatening. What do you think about this brave act by the patrol police? Feel free to leave your comments below. A man was accused of assaulting his girlfriend with a belt to prevent her from leaving the house. When the police received the report of a vehicle parked next to the gas station, They attempted to remove the man from the car, but he tried to flee, and according to previous allegations, the man had used a belt to strike the girl over a hundred times, resulting in her needing emergency hospitalization. Perhaps fearing the consequences of his actions and upon seeing the police instead of a complying, he chose to flee, thinking it was the best option at the time. It was truly astonishing. The police sirens blared and the lights flashed as a pursuit ensured. Despite the police orders, the vehicle disregarded traffic signals and commands, but both police cars cooperated during the chase. Even after the police overtook the suspect's vehicle, he continued to recklessly maneuver through traffic, crossing into oncoming lanes. Careful up here, we got a lot of traffic. He's not going to have anywhere to go if we can box him in from getting on to 88. The situation spiraled out of control as the suspect ran into a police car multiple times on Interstate 88. Okay, somebody get on to Eastburn right now. We are getting on to Eastbound 88. Damn. It's starting to spark right now. He just struck a Warrenville car. Struck a Warrenville car. The police coordinated a pit maneuver and after considerable efforts, they managed to stop the suspect's vehicle. Hey, he 
It was evident from the expression on the faces of the officers that the suspect was defiant and did not comply with orders. According to police information, the suspect faced multiple charges and was fined up to $20,000. Please share your thoughts on the situations in today's video in the comments below. Thanks for your contributions, which help us improve and bring quality content to you. Don't forget to join our community by subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again soon.